everyone welcome back to the channel oh snap wait a second we had to do the hair we just drove from louisville kentucky down to the national corvette museum in our personal 2016 2lt z51 car it's one of the best things i love about having a corvette is that top can come off we just drive have fun it was a blast driving down here we're only 90 minutes away from the museum and i'm here for two reasons the first reason is the greatest thing that you can possibly do is take delivery of your Corvette right here at the National Corvette Museum. I am here to help my customer take delivery of their ceramic matrix gray Grand Sport. This is Larry and Vicky's car from Nebraska. Absolutely beautiful ceramic matrix gray. And also debunk the misinformation out there that you cannot get the high wing spoiler and museum delivery so in this video i'm going to show you around the experience of when you take your delivery here at the national Park museum and share with you how to get that high wing spoiler and have an amazing experience here at the Corvette Museum. Here at the Corvette Museum, if you got a ZR1 with a high wing spoiler, there was no issue of getting it installed and doing museum delivery here in Bowling Green, Kentucky. Well, the C8, they've changed a few things up. Let's go outside and I'm gonna share with you how you can get high wing spoiler on the C8 and take delivery here at the museum, even though the order guide and Corvette ordering doesn't allow you to do so. You guys know I'm all about experience. I I love to create a phenomenal experience that you'll remember for your life. And coming here to the museum, taking delivery of your 2020 Corvette C8 is gonna be an amazing experience. Well, we've heard some information out there that you cannot take delivery of your Corvette if you want the high wing spoiler. Where that's kind of true, it's more false than it is true. Items that are marked accessory or LPO in the order guide, which you can download in the description below, are things that get delivered to the dealership without your car being present. I've shared with you on the ZR1 how that big wing comes in, all that good stuff in the past. And the biggest thing is, is anything that does come in like that, you can take delivery here at the museum and go to the dealership to pick up. In most cases, you cannot order LPO items with museum delivery, so that won't be on your window sticker, but you can go to your dealership and pick them up and pay for them separately. Now, my dealership being one of the largest in the country and only 90 minutes north of the museum, we can handle that and install them. You'll see who I use to install my high wing spoiler when my Corvette comes in and the process of how it's done. So if you want the high wing spoiler and you want to have an amazing experience that you're gonna remember for your entire life, make sure you pick the RCA option code in your order so that way you can pick your car up here at the museum. So stick around this video. We're gonna head inside the National Corvette Museum and I wanna share with you just a few things that you can expect to experience here. But most importantly, I'm not gonna show you everything. I want you to have some good surprises and an awesome experience taking delivery here at the museum. This is the entrance to the Corvette Museum. They are open 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., seven days a week. Now they are on Central Time, so they are an hour behind East Coast time in California, they're only two hours ahead of you guys. The first thing that you see when you walk into the museum is the Corvette Drive. This is where everyone takes delivery of their brand new Corvette. They'll put your name up on the board up there and you get to ride along as they drive it out and they all clap for you. And something new, I haven't seen this before, they actually have a racing simulator over here. This is really cool. This is my customer's car, by the way. but. They have this racing simulator over here, so you can hop in a C6. Pretty cool, they got a C6, and you can go start driving. Uh, is that Road of America, maybe? Just looking at it, really, really cool. And also, don't forget that you could win a next generation Corvette VIN number 25, $25 tickets at National Corvette Museum's website. You can sign up right there, August 31st is the date of the drawing. So right when you come into the museum, you're gonna see the 1953 Motorama Corvette show car emblem. This is in that case right there. It's actually illegal and they took it off of the car hours before the unveiling of the 1953 Corvette. I'm not gonna spoil it for you if you don't know, you'll have to check it out yourself. This gentleman has been 
broadcasted quite a lot. Zora Arkus Duntoff, the guy behind the mid-engine car. Him and his wife are actually cremated and interned here at the museum, and this is their little exhibit. You'll see some different Corvettes here. This is a 1987 C4 Escort Endurance Series Corvette. Still has the original engine in it, by the way. You'll see some really cool things on this. Look at those hella lights. Hella cool. There is a 2012 C6 ZR1 along with the awesome Nürburgring track time. Over on this wall, it kind of shows the ring up there along with the fastest speed and the fastest lap, which we know Camaro has beat that. And then to all the excitement, mid-engine car. So this is a 1986 concept car. Now this car was missing for a little while uh, several years ago and I was trying to find the tweet on it. I thought I tweeted it, but I couldn't find it. Uh, Twitter, at Chevy Dude, if you don't follow me. Really, really interesting on this car if you look at this. 1986 concept mid-engine car. Look at that. It's like all the radio is up there. If you look in there, you have the dash in there. Somebody broke something. And then this is the 1970 concept engine for the mid-engine back then as well. This was at the 1970 auto show. And if you look at this car, the engine's actually in there sideways. So we can see what they've done now for the car. The engine is in there longwise. I'm not gonna show you that car, but there is actually a non Corvette in here. So if you come in, you'll check out that black car right there. The museum does all sorts of maintenance and preservation here. So this is one of their shops. Anybody know what that is? It's a pretty interesting car. Then of course you have the sinkhole, the infamous sinkhole from a few years ago. You can experience that here and see the sinkhole going right through this cave. And the really cool thing is they have a lot of different license plates that people send them over the years. They've moved these around a little bit. There used to be one up here that was really, really cool, uh, but it looks like they have taken it down. Of course, if you want a shout out on the video, I do have my PO box down in the description. Send me something, license plate. I got a bunch of these that I'm gonna start hanging up in my garage. I'll give you a shout out and I'll hang this up in my garage and other cool things that you'd like to send me. PO box down in the description. They also have the only 1983 Corvette in existence here. And down there is the last C4 ever made. And the last thing I'm gonna share with you inside the museum is, you obviously we know the infamous sinkhole. So uh, in here you can see up close and personal on the cars and the cars that have been restored from that sinkhole too. And obviously that one's not getting restored. All right, so uh, I'm changing my mind up here mid shooting is I'm gonna show you one more car so this is 2009 zr1 the first year the zr1 was produced did fall in the sinkhole did start immediately come out of the sinkhole but the really cool thing about this car is this car was not always a zr1 this car started out as a 2008 z06 really really cool uh, that that car did not get crushed into the sinkhole and some really cool history behind how this car was introduced as a z06 and not a zr1 and then you see other concept cars here, like this 1969 Manta Ray. Uh, really, really interesting car. And one thing that I think is cool of this car is it's got ZL1 badge on it, which of course we know is used uh, on the Camaro now, where the mirrors are mounted on here. And then all the cars in the museum have either been donated by private individuals or on loan from private individuals and collectors. So like this one here was donated by Craig and Sharon Condi out of Texas. And I gotta tell you, the 50th anniversary Corvette is probably one of my favorite Corvettes. All right, there you go. That's how you can get the high wing spoiler on your C8 when you come here to the National Corvette Museum for the RC8 delivery experience. Now, one thing that a lot of people ask me all the time, which I do now have a frequently asked questions section on ownac8.com. So if you got questions on uh, C8 and delivery process, deposits, and this big question right here, is the Corvette Museum delivery a fee in addition to shipping or in place of shipping? You can get that answer on ownac8.com. I also picked up some really cool merch here at the museum. This awesome blue shirt that I'm wearing, C7 key holder, and some new valve stem covers. So make sure you support them. And also don't forget uh, the Chevy Dude store at chevydudestore.com. As always, thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a great day. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn your bell notifications on, and leave a thumbs up. Have a great day, drive safely.